Hello, I'm Vinny Shawman, and a lot of people recently have asked me what a mind coach does. I'm going to do a selection of videos that are going to be shown to you so you can understand the ins and outs of what I do and see the benefits of taking a mind coach and taking to that next level, whether it be sport, anxiety, or whether it be anything that you want to change mentally. These things work very well, and you're going to really enjoy them, so I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoy my job. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Vinny Shawman, and today we're going to be working with the four-time world champion, Liam Harrison. What we're going to be doing today is finding out what Liam wants, and we're going to be giving him the language, and we're going to give him the installation of what he actually needs or what he feels he wants to get through to his next competition and be successful. So, Liam, thanks for coming. You've been a client of mine for a couple of years now, haven't you? Yeah, about three years now. Okay. And what have you gained from the hypnosis? What has the performance given you? Um give me a lot when I've fought, it's given me extra confidence, it felt like it's even given me some extra power at some points as well, so I've gained quite a lot from it. Okay, thanks. One of the things that sticks in my mind especially was the fight where you had with Anuak Kiao Samrit. We installed a, a word with you that was connected to a lot of things that Liam wanted and the word was warrior. And in round four it was funny because I'm also a commentator for TV, <laughs> Liam, Liam came, said to me and mouthed the word warrior, so it was already in his subconscious and his unconscious mind and the performance was one of your best performances of your career, wasn't it? Yeah, right. So we're going to be doing that and we're going to be adding um, many, many things, adding more arsenal to his, to his weapons, well, some weapons to his arsenal and getting the very, very best out of him mentally. So we'll be doing that very soon. So Liam, what we're going to do, all I want you to do is use your focus and concentration because throughout about when you're in the ring or when you're training or when you're running, you have to be focused and use your concentration. Me and you have worked together before, so it's nothing new for you, but the inductions that we do in hypnosis... And they can be very different, different scales and different ways of doing them. But today, just for the purpose of, of this, I want you to just follow my instructions really clearly, OK? And it, you, you, it's, it's fine. It's, everything's fine. Hypnosis isn't about making an idiot of people. <clears throat> In my eyes, it's not used for that. It's used for the, the benefits of getting the best out of the people. So what I want you to do is I want you to put your hands like this for me, just like that. What I want you to do is just push against my hands. But I want you to use this idea and just focus and concentration is a magnet. On one hand, there's will, and on the other hand, there's intention. When will and intention come together, it's called congruence. When there's a congruence between them two, harmonious feelings between them two, your unconscious and your conscious mind become one, then that'll mean the best things for you. So that's what we want, isn't it? We want the best things for you when you get your, the idea going and all that sort of stuff, so we're going to get this ready. So what I want you to do is I want you to pretend that it's a magnet between your hands. Now, you're just using your focus and concentration. I'm just going to move my hands away. I just want you to focus on that. Notice now that the more you focus on it, the more it starts to get stronger. It's as if that each time you start to think about it, making it stronger and stronger inside your mind, that idea gets stronger and stronger. And as you start to really start to think of it now, your hands will want to come together. It's as if they want to come together in such a way. And it starts all happening all by itself. And when that starts happening all by itself, as you focus more and more, it starts to get stronger. Remember now that the idea gets stronger and stronger. And as that starts to happen all by itself, your hands will want to come together. And when they start to come together, they want to stick together. It's a strange feeling. And now as that starts to happen, as your hands will start to happen, as you can turn your own magnets up, you turn your magnets up stronger and stronger. As that starts to get stronger and stronger, you start to get stronger as well. And when you start to get stronger, you start to notice that feeling. And when you start to notice that feeling, they'll start to want to come together even more so. Even your fingers may or may not, and that's your choice if they want to go like this now and as they start to change that's right you can start to notice that I want you to really really focus on that really focus on your fingers starting to come together really focus on your hands wanting to come together really notice now that it starts to get stronger and stronger as you start to become aware of it your fingers will want to do that and as they start to become aware of that you start to notice that this starts to get tighter and tighter and each time I tap your hands they can get stronger and stronger it's as if they want to come together now it's like being one piece of wood and they start to get quicker and quicker sooner or later as that starts to happen and as that starts to happen, it starts to come stronger and stronger as you start to notice the strength between you and your unconscious mind as your unconscious mind starts to obey what you want to do. Your body starts to do what it wants to do when it is told to do by your unconscious mind. Notice now they start to get to be stronger. And you start it's now that they start to get tighter. And even now as I start to tap them, they start to get stronger. Even though I've just helped them do that, your unconscious mind has made that happen. And I want you to notice that. I want you to notice and focus, really focusing, using your strength. I want you to focus on that and notice how strong it really is. Now I want you to try and do that, try and really pull your hands together, you notice now the more you try the more difficult it gets, it's as if they become a block of wood. And you're noticing that, noticing how strong that gets, and you've noticed that, can't you? I want you to take a really deep breath in, and now you can undo your hands. Notice now, now you shake your fingers. 
Now, even though I did help you there and tapped your fingers, your hands want it to come together, have you noticed that? That's just your focus. It's not to do with me making that happen. It's to do with you using your focus, your intention. When you start to focus your intention, you start your focus and intention starts to become really strong because you're aware of that. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, good. What I want you to do now is I want you to put your hands like that. They say that um, if you put your left thumb over your right thumb, you're a great lover, or a right thumb over your left thumb, you're going to be a millionaire. So, if I put me, <laughs> so people change it, but it doesn't really matter, it's just a joke. So what I want you to do is put your hands up like this for me. And I want you to put your fingers out like that. And I want you to notice that. So I want you to put that a little bit more for me. And while you're focusing on that, because your imagination is very powerful, I want you to notice that the magnet starts to happen again. It's as if that magnet starts to happen. It starts to happen all by itself. And as you notice that, it gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Notice now that as you really start to think about it, and start to think about that magnet getting stronger and stronger, it starts to happen all by itself. And as you can see that your, your fingers are turning white there, but I really to focus on that. Focus on the strength inside as that starts to happen. Each subsequent breath, it gets stronger and stronger. And that's just your intention and your power inside of you that's allowing yourself to do that. Good. And I want you to take a really deep breath in. And you can just let them hands down. Okay, good. So you can feel that. That was easy enough for you to do, wasn't it? Because you notice now that the more you focus, the more you start to do that. Because it's only about your intention. This is about all you, allowing yourself to do it. Hypnosis isn't about someone taking over you. It's about you gaining what you want from your unconscious mind. Your unconscious mind is a beautiful thing and it should be treated well. And that's all you're doing is you're treating it well and you're just giving it the, the, the direct commands, the processes for you to change. Okay, so what I want you to do now, we're going to do another, um, and that was just, a, it's just a, a test to see if you can focus. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a one that we've done before, is I want you to just put that thumb up like that. That's right, I just want you to put it in the middle of your vision. Okay, so I want you, to, want you to focus now just on that thumb. And I want you to focus on all the lines on that thumb. And while you're focusing on that thumb, I want you to notice now that the more you focus, the more relaxed you can become. And as that starts to happen, you start to notice now that you really start to focus as your unconscious mind starts to take over as you want to do that, for it's good to do that. You can notice now the more you start to focus, the more the relaxing it becomes. It's as if the focus becomes more and more relaxing as you try to keep your arm up. Notice now that the more you try, the more it becomes relaxing as your unconscious mind starts to take over. As you become aware of that, Sooner or later that starts to happen. It's as if you can just allow that to happen inside your mind. Allow your unconscious to take over. As that starts to happen, you can just let that happen. Because your arm in its own time will, sooner or later, start to come down now as it's doing. When your hand touches your leg, that'll be a signal for your unconscious mind to just take over completely. That's right. Allowing yourself just to relax. And close your eyes. And each subsequent breath as you breathe in and out, as your unconscious mind starts to take over, you can allow that to happen. And you can focus your awareness on your shoulders and focus your awareness on just your breathing. And you can allow that to happen. Because I want you to pretend that your eyes are so tightly shut that if you tried to open them, you couldn't. Even though you can do that every day, it's just an imaginary process of just having your eyes closed tightly now. I want you to imagine that when you shut the muscles around your eyes closed, you can allow all that relaxation to go all the way down your body. And even with a hypnotic touch, you can just allow yourself to go deeper. And each time you take a deep breath in, you can just allow that self to, that's right, allowing yourself to go deeper. And as you let that relaxation happen, you start to allow yourself to go further down, deeper now, and more relaxed. Now, as you do that, Liam, I want you to also notice that your eyes are so slightly shut that if you tried to open them, you couldn't, even though you do that every day. Because in a moment, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes and close your eyes. And when you close your eyes, you're going to double your own relaxation. Now, I can't do this for you. You can only do this for yourself. So as you do that, you can allow yourself to just become more relaxed. And you can focus on that relaxation as you become aware of that. I want you to notice the things inside. I want you to notice what you wanted from this next fight. Notice now the alertness is deep within your unconscious mind. And as you start to find that now, notice that sooner or later, it's as if you start to find that. And as you start to experience that awareness, 
you can see that in your mind, feeling it, even touching it. And as that awareness gets stronger and stronger, you can also know reaction starts to happen with it too. Noticing now that the reaction has always been there, but this time starts to get stronger. It's as if there's a secondary sense, a sixth sense, starts to happen inside your mind. And also the will and intention that you have starts to go on stronger in each subsequent breath. That's right. More of that now as that starts to happen. And as you just sit in the chair listening to my voice, knowing now that this reaction is starting to go quicker, it's as if it's always been there but starts to go stronger in such a way that it becomes a different level, it becomes a higher level for you. And I want you to step up into that higher level now, feeling that inside. Noticing every time that anything that you throw in your competition or any time you're touched, your reactions are so quick in such a way that it becomes a natural thing for you. It's as if as soon as you touch, you're like a trigger and you go off straight away so fast that your unconscious mind lets things go and sees things that you've never seen before, like Spider-Man. Seeing the things that happen before they happen. Noticing that happening. As if a premonition of all the things that you're throwing becomes so quick it starts to become real strong. And I know you're wondering about that. And I know you're wondering what it's going to be like to feel that. And in a moment, when I count up from three to one, when I get to the number one, your eyes are going to be completely clear, but you're going to be still listening to my voice and focused on me. And when you're focused on me, you can understand what I'm saying, but also be listening and ready. But when I say the word sleep, I want you to drop down straight into this place where you are now. It's as if it happens automatically. And the idea of the word sleep becomes really strong. And when I just say the word sleep, you can just drop down further and back into a place of resource in your unconscious mind. And your unconscious mind treats you so well. And when you start to treat your unconscious mind in such a way, it starts to give you all the things that you want. But in a moment when I count from three to one, your eyes are going to be open and you're going to be completely listening and we're going to do something brand new. Three, two, open your eyes. Good. I want you to put your hands like that for me, Liam. I just want you to unrest your arms. That's it. Just put them like that for me. Thank you. In a moment, your unconscious mind will choose one of your hands to let go of all the old doubts and fears you used to have. It's as if they start to disappear. And your unconscious mind will select one of them hands. One of them hands starts to let go. And as it starts to let go, now you can notice that happening. Noticing now that when you start to let go of all the old feelings you used to feel, they start to disappear as if they become part of the past and start to let go. But one side will stay really strong. It's as if your unconscious mind is showing you now, as it happens all by itself, that one hand starts to drift. It's as if you select one side now and starts to drift. That's right. And as that side starts to drift, you notice now that the more you start to notice that starting to drift, you notice the strength in your other arm. It's as if all them old feelings you used to have, all them doubts and fears start to go. It's as if you're trying to hold on to them, like trying to hold on to smoke or trying to grab water with your hand as it starts to disappear further, further away from your mind. And this starts to drift. Now remember, the things that you hold on to are only things that you start, decide to keep. So the old feelings that you used to have start to go. And the new resources that you have from your unconscious mind start to get so strong that they become really rigid. And this hand starts to drop. And this hand starts to let go. And this hand starts to let go. And as you start to be focused on this, and as you can allow that, just to drop that right now. Drop all them things you no longer need. And notice now that each time, if I touch you, your will gets strong. Each time I touch you, it starts to get stronger. It's as if it happens all by itself. And that strength with inside of you, that strength that you have and your will and intention to get to all the things that you believe now that you're going to get starts to come strong. And I want you to try and use your old ways to try and bend the arm. Really try now with the arm to try and bend your own will. Notice now how difficult it is. I really want to try your best now and notice how strong it is. Notice how strong your arm is, and if you notice how strong it is, I want you to nod and give me recognition. That's right, it is. Now I want you to notice now that I want you to take a really deep breath in. You can look at me. Look at me. Just follow my fingers. Sleep all the way down, further relaxed, nice, loose, limp and lazy. And as your unconscious mind now proving to you, showing you the strength that you truly have inside that starts to get stronger, it starts to get in such a way that it starts to grow further, further inside your mind, starts to grow all over your body. And when you start to have that alertness, that awareness and that premonition of what you're going to do, it starts to get strong within you. It's as if it's really, really starting to get so, so powerful 
that each subsequent day, each second towards the contest that you're looking forward to very soon, it's as if you've already done it. It's as if you can just react so fast, it's incredible. And even so, to you, it just becomes a natural, like all your heroes that you've ever watched, like the Mayweathers of the world, starts to become so easy for you. Notice that. Do that right now. I don't want you to notice how good that feels. In a moment, I'm going to count up from one to five, and when I get to the number five, you're going to feel that alertness. You're going to feel that speed, that quickness, and that premonition of you already doing well. It's as if all them old feelings you used to think about, the ones that stopped you doing that start to drift away, like bubbles in the sky or balloons, like hold it, trying to hold on to helium balloons. They just let them go right now as they drift further, further away from you, no longer needed. And as you start to be the person that you are in such a way that it starts to become even more a pleasure to be yourself. And that's a strange feeling, I know, but it starts to get stronger and stronger and happens all by itself, deep from your unconscious mind. In a moment, I'm going to count off from one to five, but when I get to the number five, you're going to be feeling alert, ready, and the premonition that you've already done well is going to be so strong. It's going to be a natural thing for you. One coming up, two, three, feeling free inside your mind, feeling that freedom. Four, for it's good to do that, feeling so much different. Five, when you're ready, you can open your eyes and come back in the room. God. Okay. So, you're going to be fighting very soon. How do you feel at the moment? No. Yeah. No okay. In 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 what way? What did you what did you what did you want to change? Um, like I said, I want to feel like more sh not sharp and switched on, like more alert. Okay. And can you no you can notice that um, that alertness yeah, now? Can you can you notice it now? As how would it how will it be when that more, happens now? More than I was. When I was visualising it then, it was a lot more real than when I just thought about doing it before. Like then okay. I felt real, it was like really, I could see it really okay. happening. So, and, so how will this help you, how will this help you in, in your, your, next, uh, com your next fight? Not massively, because the guy I'm fighting, he's, he's a strong puncher and all he's going to do is just bomb him. So if I can, if I'm switched on, I can see that coming and I can see it. Yeah, all. so you can counter well or you, yeah. can, you, can, you, can do, you can do things off the back yeah. foot and, and do things... Yeah, you can step to the side and stuff like that. Okay, so what we did was there, Liam, is we did we did some um, we basically did some things called fractionation. Fractionation is where you open your eyes and close your eyes. We also did um, some things to just to prove to you physically, because yours is a very physical sport, to physically prove that you was really strong. Did you remember that? Yeah, yeah. you did. So we got you to focus on that. We also got you to focus on that was just an induction that we wanted to show, although, although I do different inductions, but for you specifically, I wanted to do that one especially because I knew that it's, it's, very, it's a very sort of physical sport. But thanks for coming. I hope you best, the best of luck in your next forthcoming fights and best luck for the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. As you can see, the effects of hypnosis and using the neuro-linguistic programming is very, very powerful. Not only do we use the techniques on fighters, but we also use them on members of the public to help them get through things that they want to get through. If you're interested in, in any of other techniques that have been shown or, or you want to see anything in the future, you can have a look at www.mymindcoach.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you very soon.